Namaste! Grand Rising, beautiful signs. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your next 48 hours. Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Big Cat Wave. As you kick your way into the next 48 hours, the planetary energies are. We have a full moon in Leo, no less. This lunar event can be extremely dramatic and explosive. Mm -hmm. As the moon becomes full, egos are on full display today. And remember, ego is never your amigo. Feelings will be known, all the good, the bad, and the ugly. That's been harbored, darling dear, possibly against you, or you're harboring them. Mm -hmm. Choose to release your energies in a productive way. And don't get into, get into any fights, squabbles, and God forbid, tongue wrestling and tussling in the dust. Are you kidding me, blood, bra, or sistry? Don't get, don't, don't get yourself a two-piece, darling dear. And I'm not talking from the KFC. And don't give out any two-pieces. Otherwise, you may end up where? In prison with the prisoners and R. Kelly. Fist bump. Yes, can we just talk a bit more about this? The moon, darling dear. The skullduggerous moon. The moon is about your emotions. It's also about its feminine energy. It also represents the mother energy because it rules cancer. But the moon, the moon also arm um, is about the past, darling dear. So people will be feeling extremely emotive about the past. It may have something to do with your d domestic life, darling dears, as well as feeling alienated in certain situations. Mm -hmm. The moon also rules the stomach, breasts, and pancreas, darling dear. So someone may be having what issues around those areas today, especially if those feelings they've been harboring are bubbling up to the surface. Can we talk about Leo, the fifth house, darling dear? Mm -hmm. The fifth house is a house of life, about life. All of the house and relation, I'm um, sorry, all of the, um, all of the, um, oh my goodness, all of the life houses are the first, the fifth, and the ninth house, darling India. The fifth house is about drama.com, darling India, as well as risks. It's also about procreation as well as progeny, your, your children, darling India. So there may be an argument amongst your progeny or worst off, worst case scenario, someone's talking about your progeny and you get to hear that and you feel like muscling up. Make sure that you can manage that person, darling India, because you don't want to go around with what a two-piece, a panda bear look. No, babe, that's not the way to go. This is a personal safety announcement to all my mutable signs to rein it in. Be cool and look over the next 48 hours because in some situations it only takes a split second before you're clapped in irons and put in what? A habeas corpus until further notice. Mm -hmm. Let's dive in my darling dears. Oh yes. The fifth house is also about the what? The romance, the SEX, so it's about dating, something to do with relationships. It could be your intimate relationships, darling dear. People may be having issues. It could also be arguments around fertility. They're wondering who is what? Shooting blanks or whether or if the soil is barren. Or it could be a full-on jacket, darling India. All these kind of arguments will be banded around over the next 48 hours. Remember, drama.com is not good, good for a big cat. Mm-hmm. Cool hand look. I told you, you're my bestie. Whether you like it or not, you come here, I will give you the usher. I'm a teller of everything. Let's get a runestone for you, darling girl. Oh, you get two of them. Mm-hmm. You have your eyes. Well, it's on its way round, darling dear. And you also... <gasps> You've got the blank rune of destiny, big cat. I'll talk about this in a minute. We've been getting so many of these over the past week or so, darling dear. We're getting the blank, blank runes as well as the blank cards. Bebe, this is when Divine gives you a blank check to write. Make sure it's a check that keeps you out of prison with the prisoners, just like R. Kelly. Mm -hmm. Uraz is represented by Taurus Energy. This is the Hierophant in tarot on its face doing a full what forward dive mm -hmm. a roly-poly that gets stuck halfway darling dears 
Yes, baby. Represented by the letter U and V, as well as the numbers 20, 21, 22, and 23. And in the reverse, it speaks about violence. It speaks about abuse of power. It speaks about lust, darling, dear. Oh my gosh, this is a this is a um like a crime story. Yes, baby, we're on the we're on the trail of what's gonna go on for you over the next forty eight hours. If you don't what be mindful, darling dear, and put yourself and your emotions first. But not everybody deserves a two piece. Sometimes you have to what use that evidences as knowledge. Why? Because knowledge is power, and power is knowledge. Sometimes you've got to save peccadillos till the right moment. Mm-hmm. But not today or tomorrow, da listen. The next 48 hours, stay off arguing and fighting, yeah? Your besties just told you that. Pinky's up. You've also got a blank check, darling, dear. Is it a blank check that's going to send you to prison with the prisoners? Or are you going to be free so that the, the wind can bro blow through your lace front? Uninterrupted, darling, dear. Being able to go where you want, eat where you want, and not have to watch anyone, have anyone watching you defecate, darling, dear. Listen. There's levels to this shiz naive, darling dears. Make a wish, darling dear. But remember, be careful what you wish for, because divine is about to grant it unto thee. But somebody's feeling violent, darling dear, and lustful. And that is the, listen, that's, that is cocolorum, darling dear. Cocolorum. Avoid it, darling dear. Drama.com is on the tableau. Don't, don't go to that party. Right, let's get the soul cards to give, get your ancestral message for the next 48 hours. Okay. Give it a good shifty. Let's see what Guan. What do your ancestors want you to know? My mutable signs for the next 48 hours. Success is the only way to go, darling India. In order to be successful, darling India, you have to be working at something. Have something to lose. Remember, you've always got something to lose, darling India. Only people that want to tongue wrestle and tussle in the dust, these chickens of the sea, they've got, they've got nothing to lose, big cat. And they want to take you off your trolley. They want all of your bats out of your belfry. Loose. Mm -mm. I know that there is no greater goal than to love, darling India. Love yourself. That would be the best success for you. Love yourself and take yourself out of tight situations. We're seeing the blue. The blue is for your throat chakra. We're seeing the purple for your third eye. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing a lot of what? Root chakra mixed in, right? Mixed right in with the sacral chakra. So you know it's about your stability. Somebody's going to try and get you into fight, flight, or freeze mode over the next 48 hours, darling dears. You have to what? Embody the full energy of Easter Island and Stevie Wonder. People ask me many times, they say, Big Cat, what's that? Have you ever seen the statues on Easter Island, how straight their face is? And Stevie Wonder ain't seen nothing. And I don't mean to be mean. I'm speaking what's true. Mm -hmm. What else does your ancestors want you to know? Love of self, darling, India. Not every battle must you attend. Look what tried to come up. I can't make it up. Adversity. I told you, they're going to try it with you, big cat. They're going to try it. They're going to come through. The throat chakra is communication. The blue is the throat chakra. It's, it could be words. It could be actions. You know the passive-aggressive kind that you think, well, today I'm not going to take it. Take it, blood. File it and put it, put it up for a, a later date. Not every battle must you attend. Mm -hmm. The throat chakra is represented by Friday, so something significant is going to be happening for some of you mutable signs on a Friday. I hope it's not an appearance in court blood. Bebe, I'm warning. Listen, I'm doing everything except twerking to get this intel out to you, to let you know that you must keep your temper because you will be tried. Drama.com is on the tableau, and those that have nothing to lose will be taking a risk with you, darling. There. Mm -hmm. Easter Island, Stevie Wonder. This is also represented by Archangel Michael, all of the lovely blue. It speaks about your creativities. Yes, baby, somebody doesn't like, they don't like how you, how you flow, darling, dear. So they, yeah, so they're upset. This is also represented by um, um, Gemini, as well as Virgo, darling, dear. Mm -hmm. This is Mercury energy, darling, dear. So you have to what use a rational mind. Right, examine the, the evidences, use your intellect not to get yourself in prison or dealt a two piece, darling India. You don't want a two piece to kick off the work week. No, blood, mm -mm. don't do it. 
Don't allow it, darling dears. They're telling you to hold your peace. Hold your peace. And your tongue, darling dears. Tongue wrestling. Don't get involved or argue with someone that's got nothing to lose. As I said, the fifth house is about children. It adopt a more childlike spirit, darling dear. Be in expectation of what things working out your way, but not putting yourself in harm's way or allowing someone to take you off your gangster. What's the matter with this microphone? Yeah, that's the healthiest choice for you, darling dear. This is also represented by arm. Um, your heart chakra. It's also about you trusting in the unseen, darling dear. This is about you, what? Trying to leave, leave with some kind of gratitude in your heart that you didn't want. End up in prison, blood. I just told you that. In prison. Do do it, big cat. Acorn said they will lock you up and they won't let you out. Fist bump. Mm-hmm. Right. Let's get deck and see what else is going on. Gonna use the Light Seers Tarot deck, give it a good shifty. As I sip my mocha, because I ain't getting smoke blood. I ain't, I ain't. <laughs> my son just made it for me. I don't know how he gets it so creamy. When I make it for myself, I mix it with all my might, but it's not quite the same. Mm hmm. You have the blank rune of destiny, darling dears. Remember that. Divine is on your side, wants to grant you a blank check. Don't let that blank check take you down a dark path, a situation. Was it? You, you, was it? You cash a check that your, your ASS is going to have to pay for, darling dears. Mm -mm. Yeah. Look, I can't make it up. Tower moment, the sudden change. This is arguments, fights, Things popping off, blood. What did I say? Be cool, hand. Look, this is the five of swords. Making amends, maybe, but you've already washed your face like David from the situation. This is somebody that's going to try and get into your mind to try and what? Make you into a dummy back just like them. This is about your what? Your future plans. It will interrupt your future goals and plans and dreams. We've also got the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords in the reverse is what? Not being trapped in your mind mentally. You're going to hear something or you might get a merchant of slander on the balls of their feet coming with a peccadillo or two. They know that it's going to what? Fan the fire, right? They're coming with the gasoline, guys. Don't allow their intel. And not only that, get rid of the person that's coming to tell you these things. They know they want, they're going to have you, what? At hockey sticks at dawn, darling, dear. Suiting up, right? But the only one that's going to suffer the consequences is you, my dear mutable signs. And we're besties. And I did want to come and visit you in prison. I will write many letters, but I can't come. I'm very busy. I spend a lot of time minding my own business, right? As must you, darling, dear. The Eight of Swords in the reverse is the clear thinking, darling dear. It's mental entrapment, right? And it might be what tongue wrestling entrapment. Think about the plans you've made for your future. Think about the blank rune of destiny that Divine has gifted you. Right next to the what? The the um Uraz. As I said, is the Hierophant in the reverse. This is people that are not wise. Remember, you've learned to walk with the wise, darling dears. So use the intel, use your cranium and understand. That many will try to what? Bring bring wickedness to you. For sure, darling dears. Remember Proverbs 18.6. A fool's mouth will always invite a beating. But you don't have to take up the offer. You don't. Think about yourself, my dear big cat. Somebody may need a tongue wrestling or a dressing down or being taken down a peg or two. But you know what? The next 48 hours does not look. It's not a good idea. It's not. Clarify the tower moment, please. The tower moment is, um, the tower is represented by fire, Mars, and Uranus energy. Uranus is the rebel planet, darling dear. You was built to be different. Someone doesn't like it. It could be someone that you've had a divorce, a breakup, a painful ending, or some kind of separation from. It could be a friendship, a relationship, but it was a situation that was at crisis point. One that you don't want to make amends with, but they want to make amends with you, right? And they will fan the flame to get your good, good attention. Listen, tower moment, you've changed, you're not the same cat, you are what, a learned cat, mm -hmm. yeah, nip that shiznai in the butt darling dear, somebody wants your blood pressure to be racing and your heart going boom diddy boom diddy boom, cancer, 
um, the chariot is represented by cancer energy on its face. Somebody doesn't like the fact that you've made some kind of success in your life or you're going towards successes. Maybe the future plans you had. Maybe you started a business. One is about something that you've worked hard on, darling dear. Yes, be a bit. By the sweat of your proverbial balls. What's going on? Somebody wants to interrupt the feng shui of you, darling dear. Or maybe it might be on you because I said everybody's ego is going to be big today. Right? Rain it in because you have folio on your tail and you don't be the folio, darling dears. This is somebody who is always do it on the rinse and repeat, the hamster wheel of negative cycles. This is someone that doesn't learn from their mistakes. Yes. Someone who's possibly blame shifting and mean, darling dear. That would like to stop your stop your um, ship from sailing. Mm -hmm. Be prepared. Cancer energy is mother energy. It could be a feminine energy. It could be a Mitch bitch or a bitch Mitch. I don't know what your paradigm is. If you want something more personal, hit me up in the Gmail, darling dears. Mm -hmm. As I sip my mocha, because I ain't getting smoked. Mm -mm. Sometimes the, the cards tell you to stay out of everyone's way. And Sunday's the day of peace and rest, darling dear. Me personally, I'll stay in my domicile. I'll turn off my... No one's phoning me with nothing. <laughs> We've got the queen of wands. Somebody who's jealous and bitter. And it fell on the free of souls. Someone's jealous and bitter of the plans you made. Maybe you are following your plans to the letter. In the words of Abraham Lincoln. Ever forwards, never backwards. What's this on the... Oh, baby, this is, and it could also be a group of people, darling dear, that are going through the karmas. They don't like the fact, because you have to remember the justice card, the Libra card, is the house of what? Partnerships, darling dear, friendships, romances, in the reverse. Someone or someones that you've broken contact with, darling dear, they're chopping it up. They're jealous of your, the progress that you've made of your life and the fact that your shapely back has been turned, possibly for some time. This is what, um... Three of ones plus a four could be four months, four years. Mm -hmm. Or you could have been going for it with them on the rigmarole for as much as 40 years, darling dear. Good God. Good God. Mm -hmm. And what's this? Never forget your energy. You are the one that has to raise your energy. Happiness is an inside job, sun energy. And the sun card also represents children. Mm hmm. The sun card is big cat Leo energy. And as I said, the moon is skullduggerous in Leo at this moment in time. Yes, baby. In the upright. And it also speaks about someone who was jealous of a pregnancy or birth. Or maybe you're pregnant at this moment in time. Somebody's jealous of the fact that you're pregnant and you're happy. Yeah. And there's a lot of talk going on around this, darling dear. And you're going to hear it. Eight of swords in the reverse. They're present. Your progeny. Or the baby that you are currently carrying, Queen of Wands. Maybe this person can't have children. Or they wanted the child to be with your... Pa pardon me. A spiritual belch because I speak the truth. Roof. Pinky's up. Jealous of the partner that you have. This is somebody who's established a stable a stable home life, darling dear. Something which is more fertile. And it also speaks about the transformation, your health, the harmony that you have around you. Mm-hmm. The Sun card could also, next to the Queen of Wands is somebody who's had divination on you. They've done tarot, tar, got tarot readings on you, darling dear. And what they learned they didn't like, they're going to want to fight you. Listen, fight you or be a merchant of slander on the balls of their feet. Mm -hmm. What did I say? In competition with you, darling dear. Somebody that likes to what? Be a, um, a heinous gossip. And as I said, Proverbs 18.6. A fool's mouth would always invite a beating. But you have to be what? Matthew 10, 14. Dust off your sandals and head out. Live to what? Fight another day. You want to win the war. Not the battle, darling dear. Not with these feeble-minded. Ten of swords. Take that blade out of your back, darling dear. Whatever words that come to take you off your trolley and have you run into your name, right? Slipping out your house without your mechanical devices, darling dear. This is nay. Nay don't play. And if you see nay, you'll be saying, no, no, nay, nay, yes, listen, nay, don't play. No, this is why I like to keep myself off the streets around the Leo full moon. 
Ten of Swords in the upright next to the Sun card. Somebody's been talking about the ending of a situation, something which has brought out a lot of karma. Listen, you've got Dharma. This is in the reverse. Something that you've been blessed with. This is possibly being noticed noticed by a group of people the internet maybe you have something going on the internet darling dear it's created a lot of jealousy around you people what they're planning your future for you darling dears and they see where you're going with it yeah this was this was somebody that you sowed a seed with who is it folio yeah a bad partner a bad friend that came with the bad intentions the bad advice all right Mm -hmm. And of course, we even got bad credit. I told you, the boosy badass is what we do around here, big cat. Yes, be a bit eyes on everyone. Interview all. This is about you. What choosing a better friendship group, darling dear? People that are on your same vibrating frequency, and you will surely see those people coming. But in time, darling dear, it's about you. What realizing that you you are what you put out there darling dears and if you allow energies to take you off your gangs you're going to live with that poison inside you it's like what holding a hot coal and waiting for someone to die but someone is very jealous of you darling dear they don't like you they don't like your eyelashes they don't like the way your nostrils flutter as you take in the air that at this moment is in time is free for everyone on this mouth food but the way these elect these what um utility prices are going up in the uk you might have to pay for air soon. Be prepared. What's this extra jealousy that's coming towards you over the next 48 hours, Queen of Wands? This is somebody, like I said, they've done divination on you. They've done tarot cards or even pulled a card on you. Yeah. And they know that you don't have a dog in the fight. Six of Low battery charge. All right. Everything's picking on me today. Hold on a minute, guys. Let me just plug this in. Power I'm just going to turn it off for the balance of the reading because it's just going to keep echoing back. Just a moment, darling dears. Let me plug it in and let it get charged for the next readings that I have to do. Six of Swords. This is somebody that you mentally... Ment you don't need... Listen, you ain't checking for them, darling dear. You wrapped yourself in your root chakra and you headed out. It also speaks about journeys or trips. Somebody may be taking a trip over the next 48 hours. But the person you're taking the trip with... Remember what happened to Shanquilla Robinson... You better cancel that trip or don't go with them, darling dear. But make sure that if you're going to still go, make sure that everybody knows what's going on. Keep a video record. I don't know. Send out, I don't know, the bat signal, whatever it is. Me personally, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't, right? Listen, this person wants to put you in a vulnerable position, darling dear. Just saw 22, 22 on the counter. This is the doublation of the what? The high priestess energy. Mm-hmm. 222 speaks about um, you trusting that you're on the right path, but you're about to come to something significant. The blank rune of destiny, darling dear. Somebody who is very jealous of your progress, the fact that you was able to mentally free yourself from a situation. Yes, king of wands on its face, on the queen of wands. This is a dastardly duo. What? A weird boy or a weird gal? This is a this is a, this is a couple or a couple of people, a couple of bottom feeders, darling dears. King of Wands in the reverse is a narcissist, a full-on mate, somebody who is a is a what? A semen demon, a pedestrian sperm engineer, right? And this one, the Panani of Atom is like the black hole of Calcutta. They've got mileage on their clock, darling dear. Mm -hmm. Someone don't like the fact that you've gathered yourself together and that you are speaking with a rational mind. Root chakra on your back, darling dear. You're thinking about your stability and your security. And as I said, you have the blank rune of destiny. You have to choose wisely over the next 48 hours. Because I'm telling you, somebody wants you to be in prison. Mm -hmm. Chariot energy coming out in the upright. And that is a yes, it's the truth roof. And again, this is a travel card. Somebody's traveling somewhere. The chariot, as I said, is cancer energy. It also represents a mobile home or a traveling home or someone's traveling to some kind of vacation. I don't know. Um, it could be an impronto vacation, right? A couple days away. But I told you, baby, the, you've got, so you're going on holiday with people don't like that don't like you, darling dear. Or the destination that you're going to, they just want you to be vulnerable there because they'll be picking on you. Knight of Wands, all of this fickle energy, gossiping energy. Listen, they've been beating the jumble, jungle drums in the background. Someone's planning for someone's downfall. Listen, this is drama and trauma. Divine wants you to turn your shapely back. Law 16, avoid them, right? Like the plague. Law number 10 of the 48 laws of power. Avoid the unlucky and the unhappy. All these reverse cards. Good God, Knight of Swords, you better think clearly, darling dear. 
and hit the road just like Jack. Mm -hmm. But then again, somebody wants you to come towards this drama. This is somebody, someone or someone that sat with a listening ear, but they always had what? They've got an issue with you, darling dear. Mm -hmm. Seven of Wands, it also, in the reverse, also speaks about, it also speaks about no spiritual protection. So they've got, they've got attachments on them, darling dear. You better make sure you leave them where they are. Five of Cups. Remember, Divine has gifted you with the Two of Cups and the Blank Rune of Destiny for a new beginning. Somebody's full on sad. Let that by Juju. Stay with them. Someone's going to act, try and activate you with some words coming in quickly, darling dears, to try and take you off your trolley. Possibly bringing you the words of this Reverse King of Wands and Reverse Queen of Wands. These are people old enough to know better. But Bebe, slander and gossip is their go-to move. Mm -hmm. Moon energy, the betrayal of it all, darling dear. And they're not getting over it. Whatever issue they've got with you, darling dear, you already feel the energy from these people or person. Stay away from them, darling dear. Moon energy, again, is the mother energy. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about betrayal. Listen, a toxic thrapple. There could be as many as three people involved in a situation. A situation that is drama filled, or you had a drama going on. You spoke to the wrong people. Not every listening ear. Is your friend some are just ear hustlers that can't wait to leave from your side to what take your business on the road and add tax member told you that what's this three of ones they want to stop your journey darling dear these people are going nowhere they haven't got no future plans they're not planning like you to what build generational wealth they're not planning that no they're not and they're sad they're going to be sad why are they going to be sad because the healing that they haven't had no heat, they've got no healing in their heart. They're not bringing no healing to the situation. They're allowing their subconscious mind to take them over, and they're getting their their news from the devil himself. World card. Somebody who watches you all the time, obsessively, darling dears, obsessively. They're watching your every move. Good God. Look, tower moment, and they're going for the major karma of it all, darling dear. Leave them with the rings and repeat. Somebody that doesn't want a situation to end. This is somebody that doesn't want you to heal from a certain situation. They want it to be in your heart and in the forefront of your cranium forever, darling dear. To make you what? Not see the, your future plans as what coming off because your attention will be on them. Leave them where they are. They're sad, they're sorry. And if they try to come back and say they're sorry, darling dear, it's a Judas in a Peter suit. Leave them where they are. Let's get a final card. Be cool and Luke. Why not, darling dear? Live to tell the tale another day. Let's get the deck of the wicked. Fine. Oh, this is a lot of cards taking the mic. I'm not having that. Not having it. Come on, cards. Be friendly. Be friendly. Thank you. You made me angry. Don't get mad at how I take out my anger. So this person is passive aggressive, darling dear. And they've been planning, personal people have been planning. And they're a shapeshifter. What did I say? A Judas in a Peter suit. Blame shifting and mean, darling dear. And remember the difference between a Judas and a Peter. Judas was only sorry. Peter was full of remorse, darling dear. <gasps> Big cat, what did I say? You've been getting nothing but the blank rune and the blank card of destiny, darling dears. Remember, be careful what you wish for because you're going to get it, darling dear. And never you forget, you're the one with something to lose. The adversity is just another test, darling dear, for you towards your spiritual ascension. Rise above it, darling dear, and you will call in true like-minded souls. On that note, I drops me mic. Told love to my tea strings. My tea strings. My tea springs. I was thinking about cheese strings. Tongue wrestling, darling dear. Freudian slip. Anyway, somebody's going to try and be cheesy around you, darling dear. Listen, if they're trying to butt you up with compliments, it's to get you into their lair, their, their sniper lair. And guess who's going to be the target, darling dears? Don't allow it. You'll get a habeas corpus. Todd love to my Teesprings, Todd love to my Patreon, or simply come back here. And also, I put up live videos on my TikTok on a daily basis. basis. So Todd love it to there. And subscribe, darling dear. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit the thumbs up, thumbs up button, darling dear. And once you've done that, click on the bell and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified. Because if you don't highlight it, make the bell white, it's not going to notify you when I'm going live. And I go live on a daily basis, darling dear. Mm -hmm. And as I always say... 
Don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Sagittarius, Virgo, Gemini, Pisces, be cat wave. Until we meet again on these tarot streets. Cat, 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 cat.